Hey guys, welcome back, Maris here, and today we have Grounded Spider Hunt. Welcome, welcome to Big Boys League, and I'll show you everything and explain everything you need to know about hunting down the spiders. And not the little ones, but the big ones, right? I'll get them. So, video will be in three parts. I will explain tactics and preparation. That's really important before you go out and do things before you do, so that's the part. And then there will be method one and method two, how to deal with spiders. And both of them are viable, so you will you can see and find yourself what suits you better, all right? So for the beginning, beginning is simple. Uh, information, so your choice of weapon, whenever it comes to blocking, doesn't matter. You block as easy and as much and, and does exactly the same. Uh, with third level mint mallet or with I don't know some 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 first level well, not first level but okay let's take Lara blade that's something really fast and small but anyways so what matters is of course damage and of course stun speed in this fight is not that crucial and I will explain why so, that's weapon. We have weapon, obviously, everyone already knows. Armor is the second thing we need to worry. Let me right away explain and why only those two sets are viable. At the end, so what I'm saying is, if you have Acorn face mask, uh, the set, and you don't have any of these, you can as well just go naked. It doesn't matter. And you can kill, and, and it's not like a problem. I think I will film how I nakedly kill the spider, we'll see. But uh, So the thing is, these, what you also need to understand is these sets have durability as well. You see this, I have a little bit broken down. And this is not a rating you can find, you can see, but whenever you do block, even if it's a perfect block, so you don't receive any damage, don't use any stamina, nothing, nothing, your armor will receive damage. And this breaks down so fast in this fight of Bull Spider, I cannot recommend or advise to wear it. Of course, it's better than going naked, kinda, you will still die in one hit. These are not protecting you from anything. Acorn, maybe from two hits, if you don't make a block in. And those bonuses, none of them matters. This, this maximum stamina, uh, this, this running, howling, extra health, yeah, no, no good. So, why I'm picking two of them? Because each of them shines in different methods how to kill a uh, wolf spider. First and second method. One is risky, one is safe method, okay? Okay. Uh, when that's done, we need, of course, make sure you uh, have full health. That's no brainer. You have full uh, food, so you you are not hungry. So here's first bonus tip for you. Uh, not only you need to be well fed, but also deep dive. If we go deep dive in the game mechanics, I strongly believe, and all all the evidence suggests, stamina is tied together with hunger. If you leave your character and do nothing, it just stands while the time passes, you will see the thirst goes down. Whatever, whatever happens. The hunger will be high. I mean, you are you you are not hungry, and it strongly points to the direction that the more and whenever you run, hit, work, um, use weapons, you know, use stamina, your hunger goes down. That means when you are going in a fight, you will have to fight. You will use stamina. You will run and whatnot. It means your hunger will go down. So. If you want to really prepare for the fight, this is the big fight, I advise you to get um, on this grill 
whatever you grill will have not only edible, but it also will give you bonus the fuller, which means your hunger uh, is, is at bay. It, it's basically your, you can fight for longer as you, as you wish. So this is the fully prepared almost, because what else you need? Your choice of, um, of, of health, my choice is smoothies because they're easy, they're cheap. You can make out, make the uh, smoothie out of rocks, whatever. Any three ingredients, you can make a smoothie. This is way cheaper. And what I like most about it, it's instant health. So it's not healing over time. And yes, I need to correct myself. These bandages, they do regenerate over 20 seconds of time in five ticks, five ticks, pretty big uh, gap between one thick and another. And in total, I think it originates pretty well, about 60%, more than half. So, and still, I, I, I'm sorry, not sorry, but not taking them. All right, all right. So, about the tactics, I'll keep explaining and I'll show you, we are moving towards the second stage will take some well otherwise the ant is following me and attacking we don't want that so you want to isolate your prey and yes in this case spider is the prey not you anymore after you i'll show you everything you need to know spider is in danger not you all right so I will save the game so we can, because I will need the spider twice so I can see, uh, show you two methods. So we will, we are fully prepared, have both armor sets, everything, everything. And um, all right, we still continue with the tactics, all right? Because I need to show you uh, how, how game mechanics work. And it's pretty simple. Yeah, that's our spider. You know, he's here. So. Let me introduce you perfect block. What we learn from this is, firstly, it does not use any stamina. You see, my stamina bar is not changing. It doesn't do any damage. It is damaging a little bit my axe, my, my hammer, but most importantly, pay attention to my armor. You see armor, it's pretty break, broken down already. Uh, okay, let's say that was did it on purpose. So, you see, one block was not perfect. And what it means, I received some damage, it was not lethal, and I received also poison damage over time. Uh, at this current moment, none of my armor pieces are dead. Every one of them are broken. So, now you see why I'm not advising any other armor set because they are breaking down really fast. Even if you can stand here and just keep entertaining this spider, which I definitely suggest you to do because you need to master your block. This is for method two actually. And you see, whenever it goes back a little bit and before it jumps forward, that's when, when you block. Not sooner, not sooner. And whenever you hit, you see, now we manage to have a uh, stun on a spider. You get stun after a counted minimum is 20, 20 perfect hits. Uh, That's how much it takes for spiders to get stun. Sorry, I will take a pause. Sorry, that was my well, phone. Anyways, we'll get back to right to the action. So what we learned so far, this is crucial thing. You can block as long as you want. You will get your armor destroyed. You need perfect block to avoid damage because otherwise it goes through if it's not a perfect block. Uh, you can block also jumps. Spider does two types of damage. And upon landing, you just also what I wanted to before I get distracted. 
was um, if you pay attention and if you manage to do perfect blocks, poison is now out of my blood. Pay attention to health bar. You see, as we are fully, fully, we are not hungry, the health is coming back. Which is funny because we don't have even, at this moment, we don't have any armor on us. We are literally naked here, standing. And we are regenerating health. And now, it's, it's basically, I can repeat that as long as my weapon does not break down. And when it does, I can have the next one. But we are not here to play around with spiders. Uh, we are here to do... Okay... It will be a little tougher for me to perform first method. The first method, I call it a Maris way, which is high risk, high reward healing method. I'll explain the basics of it. Oh yeah, the stun. It takes 20 perfect blocks, then it's stun, but stun is really uh, fast, uh, let's say short duration. Yeah. Uh, on a spiders, so don't think you can, I don't know, kill, kill while he's stunned, you, no, 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 this is just a little bit gap in between attacks. So, let me explain high risk, high reward, way how we do it. As you noticed, ah, I, I haven't showed you, let me show you the attack range of this beast. You see, even if I'm backing down, you see the distance? What it means, this is the reason why you can't outrun a spider. He will kill you eventually because this damage in front of the, the spider itself is really huge and wide because the spider hitbox is huge. So, what you want to do and how the method 1 works is you want to entirely avoid it. And how you can avoid it, let me pause the video for a moment. How you avoid it is when you have a spider and you know basically in front of it everything will receive damage. What you, where you want to be in a moment when it attacks is basically next to him. In to, to fully explain in the spider. Because what I will show you in a moment will be something really ugly, because I will be literally the graphic, I will be inside the spider, because he attacks in front of him. So if I'm inside, next to, or uh, behind a uh, spider, I'm in safe zone. Why it causes a problem? Because it's a huge spider. There's no time to run behind him. So best case scenario, I can be next to him, but still out of harm's way. How you do it is you always point to the spider, center of the spider, move sideways and also move towards, like run ahead and sideways. Why? Because if you go only sideways, you will have, um, you will, there will be too huge distance between you and spider and too little time to move out of harm's way. So you are kind of moving towards spider and sideline. And that's how you dance around the spider, no matter what happens, and hit all the time. Let me try to show you how that happens. So, first thing, you see, currently, I am way too far. I want to be way closer than that. So let's try to reduce distance between me and spider. So, okay, that was huge. Okay. So here, why it, it's really hard for me to also show this, this method is my armor is broken down. So for this method, my speedy spider armor comes in play. And the only thing what I will use uh, from this spider armor is that tier bonus where I am really fast. Let me position bring the spider yeah. i need some space for fight ah, bad 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 okay but this should be fine 
So, I am currently just blocking, but I need my armor, so I thought one. Yes. Yeah, I'm blocking, and you see, I can literally all the time with shift, you need to use some stamina. To be in safe zone. I'm, I'm not hitting. Okay, that's safety. And this is what you want to do. This is how you... Ta! Jump! So, when you... When spider sees and can jump... If you dance around it, it will never jump. I, I was too long in front of him. So, he swapped out another uh, attack mode. Which is jump. Which, yeah, I needed to block. There's no way I can active outrun, but that's too di too difficult. So let's see. It's a blockade. You see? This is how you... And what you do, obviously, whenever you have a chance, you hit that damn spider. And when it's knocked down... So why I call it high risk, high reward is this is the fastest way to kill it because you are not blocking. I just blocked at the beginning, but what you do is literally you run most in the spider and then run around it and just all the energy literally goes to hits. And with this mallet, you stun it pretty fast. So you will have, you will manage at least one or two stunts in the fight, but all the time and energy is put into damaging, not avoiding damage, right? So that is, that's why, uh, why it's high, high risk, high reward. As you saw, many things can go wrong. You run into grass, you, I don't know, something blocks you. Spider, as you saw, jumps up, comes down. But why it's high reward, you don't receive damage from uh, blocking. You kill it way faster than this other method. And for this other method, let me show you. For this other method, uh, Ladybug armor is more preferable. And this is the safe way. Let me quickly switch over. So other method is simple. Here you don't need any specific space. You can fight in tight areas or any, anywhere. You don't need to uh, dance or nothing. We repeat currently what, what, we, what you saw already before. But instead, what you add here is in between blocks, you do a hit. And this is really important, guys. Do not get greedy. There are many games that penalize player. If you think, oh, I can make at least two swings while in between uh, spider attacks. Answer is no, you cannot. And I, if you try to do more swings that you actually can do, you will not be able to make block in time. So be mindful about the second method. As you can see, we have established dominance in defense. But here, let's a little bit trickery here, which spider is not prepared for block hit okay I will not touch him block hit block hit almost didn't make in time so there's a thing if you do two swings you will not be ready for you see and I didn't even clicked so I received a lot of full incoming damage and the, the stun is useful of course I will just not use so you see how safe it is it still depends on how good can you block and it's literally a dance block and hit Ah, you see? 
That's this is where I click two smoothies, and there's no problem. Ah, was too bad timing. But that's it. This is the safe way. And as you see, my ladybug armor with all my jibber jabber talking and everything received quite a lot of damage. So you see, if I want to take down another spider, I can, but and of course you in time you will get better. So it, it was extra time because I was explaining and everything, but long story short. Let, now we are at the part where it's most important. And yeah, sorry, I didn't show the uh, larva bait. But the thing is, between spider attacks, you can manage still one best case scenario, two larva blade attacks. And this is one the, the fastest weapon in the game. That's the fastest as it goes. If you try to do three attacks, and I tried the poison's damage so small, it's insignificant. So I would still advise against it. And the stun is way better. Any stun is way better than these fast weapons. Sorry. Um, but we came to the point where I need to explain you most important part about spider attack. Uh, hunting down spider, right? Are you ready, guys? And this is... For no means, this is not a joke. Biggest and hardest part of hunting down wolf spider or any spider for that matter in the game is preparation where you need mentally prepare for not freaking out not panicking and not stress in in the in the stress situation doing that one extra hit because trust me if you try to do two hits in between because you you know you have this urge and I, I need to kill i need to kill come on this big bug he's you know that we know that feeling you will mess up i messed up this i'm filming this second time because i messed up previously so much em embarrassing but currently this video i'm currently filming and for the first time honestly i don't have those disgusting goosebumps because when when i manage those defenses and i was like Perfect block, perfect block, perfect block. Then confidence that that spider is actually manageable. We are not even up talking about killing and proving I'm better, I don't know, player, gamer, YouTuber, whatever, but for myself, that I can manage this situation. And when you manage it, as I tried, literally, now you look back and whatever I, I was telling before, in the same time, in parallel, I try to show you these spiders are not as scary as they look like and they absolutely one shot kill you especially when you when your upper is broken down or whatnot you need to be kind of you need to aware of the danger but the point where you are not afraid and making stressful mistakes suddenly running suddenly deciding no 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 I can outrun the spider jumps forward with huge hitbox in front of you. No, you can't outrun. Okay, you can run in a, jump in the water and there are some cases where you can get uh, up up on a rock or something, but um, yeah. And when you have that calm, guys, I believe down in the comment section there will be like, dude, I'm hunting them just now for fun. Remember when this game gave you spider and you were afraid and you screamed like a little girl? Because I screamed like a little girl. When that changes, you are on the spider hunt. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me down in the comment section whatever you think you want to ask. I'm here for you and we will meet in the next videos. Cheers.